Hello and welcome back. Today we've got another £200 worth of 10 p's to have a hunt through. Looking for the commemoratives, the ones with more than face value, but ideally we want some of the 2019 ones. We are only missing, they, uh, well, we've only got the letters C, E, F, G, H, J, K, L, M, O, R, T, U, and V. Missing all the other letters. 2018 we did manage to finish, but seeing how low mintage the 2019s were, how scarce they are. We did start another 2018 book to see if we can finish that before we finish another the first 2019. So we have got the letters A C E F G L uh, N O P and V. I'm trying to figure out which way the alphabet they go. <laughs> Deary dear. I'm being a bit slow today. But there we go. Plenty still to get for 2018 as well. So without further ado. Let's get into these bags. So before we get into the questions, just a bit of self-promotion. I've got my 50,000 subscriber giveaway, which is still running. So be sure to go back and go and enter that because we've got some lovely, lovely prizes to be had. Um, we're still getting through questions left on my sealed two pound coin bag giveaway months and months and months ago, but uh, there were so many questions we've got tons to get through. So first comment comes from Elaine Bynes, who says, it was you that began my interest in coins. And since then through your channel, met a very nice community, great giveaway and very kind. Well, thank you very much. And to be fair, it's comments like that which are the ones that oh, surprise used to surprise me the most because I always thought that people that would watch my videos that would find my channel subscribe and interact with the videos and whatever would be coin collectors so it, it was very strange and a lot of people have messaged me and uh, people that I've got to know that didn't particularly have an interest in coins but were lured in by the videos and they then become interested in coins which I think it's fantastic sort of growing the sort of coin collecting community and um, yeah I'm very, I think it's very very cool um, but thank you for your comment uh, Paul James Farr says, how many coins can you order using a business account versus a personal account? It'll vary from bank to bank. Uh, so my bank, uh, to my knowledge, I can order as much as I want with enough notice. Uh, obviously, I'd need that money and then I would pay transactional fees on the amount that I withdrew. But yeah, I'm pretty sure there isn't really a limit within reason. Um, Ed Saxon says, Nice to keep things positive. What's the most positive slash happy thing that's come out of the lockdown for me? Um, whew. it's a good question. I mean, I haven't been ill. <laughs> Wearing face masks and religiously washing and anti bacterial hands and desks and things. Um, I can't remember the last time I was unwell, uh, which is amazing. Um, I guess there was a time where um, there was a whole bunch of us that on the daily basis were on my voice chat on Discord and I got to know a whole bunch of people really, really well. People that I would consider more than just sort of subscribers and viewers and people I talk to, but I'd view them as friends uh, because of the sort of relationship we built up um, chatting virtually every night of lockdown. Um, so yeah, they're, they're always going to be positives. I mean, uh, the channel went in a bit of a slump, as many channels did um, throughout lockdown, but um, it seems to be recovering and we hit 50,000 subscribers. We found a few gardens. What more could we ask for? Um, I was I, In the early days, I thought I'd be lucky to get hundreds of subscribers, a thousand subscribers. So to be on 50,000 subscribers, you're not going to get any grumbling from me at all. Um, Neil Henderson says, Hi, Christopher. Just want to say awesome luck you have. Keep up the great content. My question... What's wrong with pineapple on pizza? It's just not nice. It doesn't taste good. Well, why, why would you? Why, why do you not like insert food you don't like? Um, hot pineapple just sounds gross to me, so it's a no for me. Um, Stuart Kosh says another amazing giveaway. On. Um, are known coin errors like flag errors something you actively collect or just a bonus if you come across them? Um, very much just a bonus if I come across them. There are lots of sort of slight um, variances. In my mind, fake errors. They, are, I guess they are kind of errors, but it, the word error to me conjures up something scarce, something valuable. Um, where, it, like, for instance, if you take the example of what I would deem a fake error, it is the per member, per member, the 5th of November, burp, burp, bep, November. I can't remember. Anyway, the little kick of the R and on the edge inscription of the Guy Fawkes two pound coin. Um, sometimes it's not as visible. Sometimes it's a little bit of a weaker strike, I guess. Um, but it's it's so often that they crop up that they look like it, and it's, it doesn't retain any value. There's no more value in a per member, or what would appear to be a per member, Guy Fawkes than a standard Guy Fawkes. 
Um, the sim similar can be said about Trinity House, the £2 coin, the little corners of the lighthouse windows. Sometimes you get a little bit of cud metal in there. And again, there's no e extra intrinsic value in that. So um, I think that there needs to be sort of tier tiers of errors because like um, Elijah, UK coin hunter, that found the, the egg, the fried egg £2 coin where the inner part of the metal hood has been has sort of leaked into the outer ring that is a desirable valuable error whereas your uh paddington at the palace with a little bit of cud metal on the on the road um is a very very common again i for lack of a better term error um that again holds no intrinsic value um so i think there needs to be uh, there needs to be sort of a divide between yes it's an error but no it's not valuable yes it's an error and this is valuable for example um i don't know that's my humble opinion on it but do i do i uh, actively collect them if i come across them i keep them uh, i don't go out of my way to like like with the rotation errors on two pound coins if i spot one whilst i'm hunting through i'll keep it but i don't religiously go through the wall looking for even the slightest of little rotation errors um My Goshua, I like that, that's a very cool name, says, Great giveaway, Christopher, what's your favourite biscuit? Best of luck, everyone. Um, I like most biscuits. I like the, probably my top tier of biscuits, the McVitie's chocolate caramel biscuits. Oh, they are good. And chocolate hot knobs, hot knobs, full stop. Uh, bourbons, uh, custard creams. Oh, I'm, I'm really not picky on biscuits. Apart from rich tea, you're a bit boring. And those, what are those little uh, nice biscuits? They're not nice, they're horrible, grim. Uh, but yes, I like biscuits. Um... Triple Coin says, wow, amazing giveaway. Quite a few of my family collect and it would be amazing if I won and was able to share the coins with them. My question is, if you could travel back in time and give yourself a message, what would it be? Wow. What would my message to myself at any point I can go back in my life and tell myself to do? Uh, oh, good question. Very good question. I mean the path of your life will be strewn with regrets and mistakes and missteps and things that could have been done wrong but there's those mistakes those errors those errors in judgment um that, get, that have got you to where you are on the path and i'm quite happy where i am on my path at the moment i'm sure in the future i will make blunders and gaffes and make a bonehead of myself but um that that just is the it, they're just the necessary steps to get onward to christopher clegg's down down the road a bit further so would i change anything in the view that any changes could impact where i am now and i'm quite happy where i am now so yeah keep at it i guess i would tell myself <laughs> uh kenneth adam everson says the four nations start issuing their own coins, including commemoratives, like the Isle of Man and the Channel Islands. Would you start traveling to the across the UK to get bags to hunt through? So you're talking about Scotland, Wales, Northern Ireland, England, all issuing different commemorative coins. That is a good question. Um, would I travel? Mm, maybe not. If I was in the area, would I hunt through them? Yes, for sure. Would I contact my good friends in all the different parts of the United Kingdom and maybe offer trades of uh, a seal bag of English coins for a seal bag of Welsh coins or Scottish or Northern Irish coins? You bet I would do that. <laughs> in terms of traveling, I guess it's the time, it's the effort, the expense of um, traveling from where I am, Basingstoke in the south of England, all the way up to even the closest part of Scotland to be able to get some Scottish coins. That is a heck of a trek. Uh, the chance that I could do it with some Welsh coins, but yeah, Scotland is a, is a there's a fair little bit of land between me and the Scottish border, so yeah, that would be an issue. But um, I would definitely want to hunt through them. Dip, would I collect them in terms of like I buy 50p's, two pound coins, five pound coins as they come out for the mint? If you then have four parts of the United Kingdom releasing their own commemorative coins, depending on whether that increases massively the amount of um, coins being issued. Uh, would would depend on whether I would collect it in this hypothetical world where lots more coins are being issued. Uh, Jerry Healy says, is the flag on the coin that is rare or without the flag? How do I know which 
did the mint say which coin it was or just assume the coin with the flag was a rare one so the navy centenary there's only 650,000 of them minted which is a relatively low mintage for coin uh, so it holds some value some of those also have a little bit of cud a little bit of extra metal from a broken die or whatever um, that has caused it to look like there's a flag at the top of the mast um, I've heard contradicting theories that there was originally a flag going to be on the coin because some of them do look very, very flag-like. Some of them just look like bumps, some of them look like flags, so I'm not 100% sure. Um, there's always contradicting information and there's no way to get a definitive answer on that. Um, so the, 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 the one with the cut error, the flag, is the one that is the scarce the one and that is an example of an error that holds value above the face, above the value of that coin. So. The Navy Centenary is a £2 coin. The Navy Centenary on its own will sell upwards of about to about £5. Um, with the flag error, you're adding £1.50, £2 worth of value. It, in, from, from my uh, research and when I price up coins that I find in videos. So that is an example of an error that holds value. Not massively, you're not going to be able to retire finding a flag error, but um, definitely increases the value of the coin. Um, da -da 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 -da. Let's have a look. Marriage is a challenge, says Hi Christopher. Brilliant, generous giveaway. What is your favourite game to play at arcades? And what is your and what is your best win? Good luck to everyone. Um the game I, I like the coin pushers. Um so a great example when I was younger with my brother, we were taken to an arcade um and we were given I think two pounds or five pounds to go and spend and, and play games, and he spent his on two big shooting games with the you know the ones where you got the gun you're shooting at the screen like uh what's it called time uh, i can't remember what it's called now ah oh, so annoying i can't remember what the game is called because i then we then got it on our playstation we used to play it on that too but um i changed my five or three or two whatever it was pound coins into i think it was two pences and um we're playing the, the coin droppers and i was enthralled for hours and hours and hours and he was done in uh, 10 minutes so yes i like those kind of games i've never really won anything massive in arcades though not that i can recall or think um but no but yeah uh, I, I, I haven't been to many arcades very often but uh, yeah they're good fun when i go um let's have a look Will Laurie says, would you support a pish, a, a pishin? Would you support a petition to have the Royal Mint minted Christopher Clegg special edition, special edition 50p? No way, Jose. Not a chance. I, 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 I don't think it's right to be the person petitioning the Royal Mint to commemorate yourself. That is not the way to get uh, the recognition. Um, and equally, there are many more people, many more uh, amazing people in the UK, in the country, the great British people that have done so much more than me, uh, immeasurably more than me. If David Attenborough, if I was on a coin before David Attenborough, that is a complete uh, miscarriage of justice. And um, yes, so there are plenty more Britons that have done so much more than me. I do naff all I, I'm just some bozo with a camera looking at some coins. So uh, would I say no if, if offered? Uh, of course not. But um, I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon, if ever. I don't anticipate being a coinage myself at all. Um, Ian Blenkinsop says, Well done on the luck, I am envious. Would you rather have a million yen or a million rupees? Ah, oh, I don't know what the exchange is. I would imagine a million yen would be worth more than a million rupees, but I could be wrong. So, whatever's higher value, I'm not keeping it in yen or rupees. That's the easiest answer. Um, let's have a look. There's lots of people thanking me for doing the giveaway. Terry Roberts says, brilliant giveaway. I have a large coin collection, including worldwide banknotes. How can I get a true valuation for them? Again, a question I get asked all the time. I will have people that will send me a screenshot of a, a desk that is covered in coins or people that will religiously take pictures of all their 10,000 coins and send me individual messages uh, asking me what their collection is worth. I'm not a coin valuating, uh, valuating? I'm not a coin valuing service. Uh, the time and effort that it would take to value a coin collection, it is it is quite a lot of time. I know from speaking to my good friend and fellow coin tuber Laughter, who has in the past priced up many collections, it, it takes a, a fair chunk of time to do so. So, the, your best bet, go on eBay, search for the coin. Of, of, well, you've got to identify the coin. If you don't know what the coin is, get Coinoscope. That's an app you can get on your phone. It's amazing. You can, it helps you identify coins. You can then search on eBay 
uh, for that specific coin look at what they're selling for and that gives you an idea of the price now uh, you possibly won't get the full value of it um, because a coin collector will pay what it's worth rather than what a seller wants to sell it for I guess so yeah take it with a grain of salt because there are sometimes sometimes things so high sometimes it's so low but uh, that's your best bet do some research uh, we'll go for one more question I think Rupert D. Bear says, where should Paddington visit next? Um, so uh, I don't know if Paddington's going to visit anywhere. We we didn't get any Paddington last year. We might not get Paddington's this year. Uh, I like the Paddington coins. I don't mind them. Where do I want them to go? I want Paddington to spread out and go elsewhere in the United Kingdom. Um, he has been to four locations and all four locations have been uh, in England. And it's about time he made his way out and about. Uh, I would like to see him. Uh, I'd like maybe three more Paddingtons, maybe three in the same year. Um, having a visit somewhere in Wales, somewhere in Scotland, somewhere in Northern Ireland, um, because I think that'd be great to sort of get a better reflection of the, of the, of the country. I, I know that the, 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 the places he's been to were due to the Paddington stories. I don't know if Paddington actually went to anywhere else in the UK, but um, I highly recommend it. There's some great places to go, and I think that would be the coolest thing for Paddington to do. But with that being said, let's get back to the coins. Well, not the result that we were after, but we've still got a couple of finds that are pretty, pretty cool. The jerseys we see quite often. The Great Seas is a pretty nice one to, to, to find, to be fair. And like I said, at least we didn't we didn't find absolutely nothing. Uh, for those who have watched this, find the video. You might be interested to know that I've got a Discord server. You can click the link down in the description to come and join that. Alternative, alternatively, you can catch me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok. And there's the PO box you can write it to if you so wish to. But as ever, all that leads me to do now is thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed and I'll see you next time for more coins. Bye.